Hey everyone, welcome back to another quick how-to. In this video, we're going to show you the complete tutorial on how you can change shipping rates in Shopify. So the first step here that we can do is open up your Shopify store and make sure that you sign in with your account. Now here, we just need to click on the settings right here at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. So once you click on the settings, an option shows up here and then you just need to select the shipping and delivery all right now the first thing that we want to take a look at here is the general shipping rates so as you can see general referring to all products rates for domestic and international so we're going to select this one here so for example and then we have here the uh, general profile, the products, shipping origins, shipping zones. So we're going here on the shipping origins and we have to set up our shipping zones. So by default, we have the domestic and we can create different shipping zones to cover other countries here. And if you see here, it says not covered by your shipping zones. And if it shows zero countries and regions, you just need to click on the create zone button so just like here for example right so we're going to click on create zone button and then click on add more countries or regions in markets right so once you click on this option here then you will brought you here in this page so you just have to select on the international and then you just have to click on the inactive drop down menu and then select the active button and once you select this active then you just need to click on the save button right there at the top right hand corner of your screen so for example i have already saved this one now i'm going back to the uh, settings all right and then here on shipping and delivery so if you go here on the international and if you click on the uh show all button then you'll find all the available countries here and you can basically edit the zone so click on the three dots and click on the edit zone then make sure to select all of the countries here that you want so for example i'm just going to select only for the asian countries so for example going to select japan or any Asian countries here, Singapore, South Korea, or like uh, UAE. And I'm going to add also Malaysia. And I want to name this zone as Asian. So as you can see, if we go back here, we have the Asian countries here. But in this sample, I'm going to select the uh, shipping zone to international okay so click on the three dots click on edit zone i want to change the zone name to international and then i'm going to select all of the countries and click on done all right but as you can see here you find a message here that you need to activate so go to markets and then same process here click on an active drop down menu and select active and click on the save button at the top right Right, so again, go back to the shipping and delivery and the general shipping rates and the shipping zone. Right, so once we have the shipping zone, we're going to click on the add rate button. Now here, once we have the add rate, so click on this one, you will find the two options at the top. Use flat rate or use carrier or app to calculate rates. So for example, I'm going to select use flat rate. And then here on the shipping rate, basically you can just select here. But the custom flat rate is the only available. So no specified transit time applied here. And then we can just um, edit the custom rate name. So for example here, I'm going to type uh, free shipping or standard rate, for example. Going to custom delivery description, select tracking number provided, made to order a ships next day. All right, and then we're going to enter the price. So for example, I'm going to enter here, the price will be 50. 
and this will be the preview right so click on the done button here at the bottom right corner so there you have it we have the price now if you want to edit this one just click on the three dots and click on edit rate for example if you want to add a conditional pricing and select based on order price for example you have the minimum price of 100 and then click on done all right so as you can see once they uh, buy uh, 100 and up then they will have a rate of 50 pesos but if the minimum price will be 1000 then um, order that's going to be over 1000 is going to qualify for this free shipping rate right now other option here is by using calculator rates so as you can see here if you uh, choose this one there are no carriers or apps available for this zone but you can uh, actually try this um, uh, calculator rates or this option here right now next one we have to go here on the international shipping zone so you just need to follow the same process make sure that you add the zone that contains every single country where you want to ship your products and then just uh, change here ships next day and also the price right for example i'm going to select uh, add condition so based on item weight for example the maximum weight will be 50 kilo or 20 kilos so click on done button so again here if we click on the uh, three dots we can basically edit the uh, rate for example in free shipping edit rate for example add conditional pricing based on item weight minimum of uh, 20 kilos and up and then they will be qualified for the free shipping so there you have it now once we set up our shipping rates don't forget to click on the save button right there at the uh, top right hand corner of your screen right so click on save button here so all of the settings that you've made will be saved right now once done here you will now go back and go to the options here we have other options like custom shipping rates so as you can see here you have the custom products that don't fit in with the majority of the products on your store so if we're going to click on create new profile then we can basically create name for example uh, fragile products right and then here also we can just add some um, options you can add your product here you can also edit the shipping location so same process select the location click on done and also select the add rate and add your shipping rate for this custom product all right so for example a free shipping and then will be a made to order and then uh, based on item weight all right and then we're going to click on done all right so once done here we have the uh, if you go back all right so click on the save button at the top right then as you can see we have the general shipping rates and we have the custom shipping rates right from here now another option we have the expected delivery uh, delivery dates so right here so if you're going to click on this one now when option shows up here then basically you can check or uncheck the box that says show expected delivery dates at checkout and then you just have to save or click on the save button All right so in this case i'm going to click on the close button now the next option that we have here is the uh, local delivery as you can see so if we're going to open this one here we can choose our shop locations right and here you can check or uncheck this location offers local delivery and you can set up this one you can use postal codes uh, delivery zone here the uh, zone name postal codes the minimum order price delivery price and delivery information All right again once done click again the save button at the top right hand corner 
right? But in this sample, I'm going to uncheck this box. Now, the next one here, we have the local pickup. So here you can basically check this. This location offers local pickup. So you can check this one. And again, you can customize the setting expected pickup time. So you can check this one here and you can basically select, for example, usually ready in 24 hours and then check out preview right here. And then you can basically change the pickup instructions, All right? Right from here, bring your confirmation email. So if you're offering curbside pickup, you can let customers know what to do when they arrive at your store. All right? Again, you can check or uncheck this one. And then the next one here, we have also the SC delivery customization. All right? So there are no apps installed with delivery customizations. So basically here in this option, you can install like wholesale app if you want to process wholesale. All right? Next one, we have the save packages. So this is very important if you are using courier calculator rates. So this will be going to ensure that calculated rates match the rate that you're going to be paying so you don't lose out money. So if we're going to click on this add package and uh, basically I'm going to add a normal box and just have to select the package type if it's box, envelope, soft package. So you can uh, add length, width, height, and weight. And uh, you just need to confirm that and add that package. Now the next one, we have enabled third-party calculator rates or checkout. Do you uh, just basically use the feature? You just need to click on upgrade your plan. Now the next one, we have the packing slips. So these are the list of items printed and included in a shipment. So here you can uh, basically edit the template here. So editing your template uh, using the uh, HTML, right? CSS and liquid variables for uh, packing slips. So if we go into preview these templates, uh, basically here. So this one is the uh, example slips, as you can see. So I'm going to leave this one here. So there you go. If we go back and lastly, if you're using custom fulfillment service, you can add name and email of the service. So simply type here the name and the email and then click on the save button. So there you have it. We have just completed the tutorial. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to this channel and see you on the next video.